I know that I've always enjoyed drama. I've, I've really loved all the directing I've had a chance to do here. Um, but uh, in another way, I've always felt that uh, drama was sort of a means to an end. It's a, it's a, a way to teach values to kids. It's a way to teach communication skills to kids. It's the end that I've had in mind. It wasn't necessarily the plays, although they're certainly wonderful and wonderful, they were wonderful to work on and, and fun to work on. But I've always felt that the end product was kids who had a good sense of themselves and kids who came away from it with a good experience or who learned communication skills or who learned how to work in groups together or who had a good sense of self-esteem. Th those are the kinds of goals that I always had in mind. Not quite. I always felt like the drama was a process and like I said, it was a means to an end. Being a teacher in middle and high school, I know what a mess kids are at that time. Even the kids who got it together are a mess. And you re I really, you know, I have to say, I'm a kid who I didn't really know where I fit in. You know, I mean, I played a lot of sports, but I wasn't really good. Um, you know, there was not something that I said, oh yeah, that's what I do. Um, when I came into his class, it took about a minute before I really liked it. You know, I mean, it was like, okay, this is cool, I can go with this. Because you know, I was a big Star Wars geek, Indiana Jones nut, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I, I think I told somebody earlier, I said, I, it must have been like what Harry Potter felt when he walked into Hogwarts. He's like, wow, <laughs> you mean I can do this and get a grade for it? You know, and, that, and that's what it was really like. <laughs> Mr. Higgins has taught me a ton of stuff, ranging like from how to like perform on stage and like like acting and help and everything like that to just like being a well-rounded person and like being friendly and like having good like social skills and everything like that. Like drama and Mr. Higgins have both like helped me become like the person who I am now. What's amazing is that instead of being told, no, try this, it was always like, do more, do more, do more. And, and that was a great feeling, when you're, especially when you're at that age, 12 or 13, where all you feel like is everybody's telling you no all the time. Yeah. You know, somebody's sitting there saying, that's great, do more. Um, you know, you, no, that's good. That's what, you should do. what was amazing about John, and I, I imagine still is, haven't been in his class for a few years, but is that he understand, really works to understand who his individual students are. And then he picks up on what they do and encourages it, encourages it, encourages it, and then shapes it, and then tries to throw more at you. Um, but he keep, instead of you know teaching his thing to you, he sees who you are and teaches to you. And I really hope that's something I do. Grandpa's cat is death. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and looks away, which is like forever. And you exchange a look with her, like. <laughs> Yes, you made little noises. I made pud noises. <laughs> because she's yes, like, yeah. oh my god. Okay. Genius. Genius. It's all about giving kids good experiences, allowing them to, to learn and to grow, and that's, that's got to be the emphasis of everything we do. He instilled confidence in every single student. Not one student would feel left out in his class. And I've taken a lot of different classes in my life. And that definitely stood out. Mr. Higgins definitely I've learned just to go into everything with a positive attitude. He believes in whoever walks through the door to the auditorium, like whether the kid is going to be the star in the play or they're going to be that techie doing that one weird light switch or whatever. And um, considering that I was not always the lead, I was kind of like doing this or doing that and I got involved in a bunch of different parts of the program, it was nice to know that he like support it, he will support anybody kind of with whatever they decide to do. We always got a sense of in John's class that um, the ensemble was the most important thing yes. and that there is no one person who is the is more important uh, and in fact you know when we walk on stage if, if one of us isn't there we're not whole, we're not complete uh, and we can't successfully tell the story in the way that we want to tell it and however large that ensemble became uh, he always managed to make us feel like we were one, one unit, uh, and I guess I like to live my life like that. I just want to thank you all, because this was just huge amounts of fun for me. I'm really glad that this, my last show here, was just so much fun to do, and I really appreciate you and all, all of that sort of stuff, so thank you all. It's where in high school I've been able to sort of make my friends and feel most comfortable, and I think that's really important in high school to have a place that sort of offers that comfort. I guess that for me in high school, the John's class was the place that I felt most like myself, 
and the person that I wanted to be and the person I was becoming. I love the ritualistic process. We got it, we got it. Maybe awesome, right? It was a sanctuary where where people didn't judge who we were. They allowed us to be the person that we were inside, and that was so empowering. The devil take thy soul! Hamlet! Hamlet! I loved Ophelia. What wilt thou do for her? Oh, he is an Atlantis. Cat will mew and dog will have his day. <laughs> On Saturday, May 3rd, 2008, John Higgins directed his last production at Hingham High School. Though he is now retired, his lessons live on in his former students. He imparts one last message to his students after his final play. To trust yourself to be creative, to be willing to take risks, as they are very, very willing to take artistic risks in our shows. Uh, remember that working together is a lot better than working alone. That, you know, a lot of people working together, whatever they do adds up to more than just the sum of its parts. Uh, and remember to be positive because I think yeah, there's two ways to approach life. You know, you can do it in a positive sort of way and always look at the, the bright side, or there's the, the other way where you can complain and, and be looking for the negative side. And I've always thought that looking on the positive side was the way to go, and, and I hope that uh, I hope they do too. I think it's a happier way to be. It's what they carry past the play and past the good diction, good projection understanding of character, whatever those things are that you, that you learn about in the play, I think it's the, the other things that last. That's, those are the goals that I've always had. I like sort of looking at the stage. This is now perhaps 10 minutes after the, maybe 15 minutes after the last show closed, and it's absolutely naked and absolutely empty. But I've always believed that, uh, that uh, all the old shows that you do kind of echo around in the theater. And I remember even talking about that on a couple of occasions. So you sort of, you know, think about all the shows that are sort of bouncing around, and I don't think they ever really disappear, even though they seem to. So that's uh, sort of been a superstition and a belief of mine, and I think all the, all the great shows these kids have done are still bouncing around in this theater.